Okay, this time if you're not doing a turn, just skip like all this video and go on to the next one. So once you've got the template done, you have to make sure that it fits inside the mouth, so like it fits inside the teeth. And then get the fleece or felt of what colour you want the tongue to be. In my case, it's light green. And basically just flatten that out on the table and trace it out like you've been doing for all the other parts and then cut it out the same but before you actually do you have to make sure that whatever you're using pencil or pen it doesn't matter on this one actually shows up and then just trace around it and then do like a border line and if you want an effect on the tongue make one of them whichever's going to be on the top a bit bigger than the other one so then you can sew a bit so then they'll have like the line effect thing and cartoon tongues and that. If you use fleece, try and use a pen or a thicker pencil than what I'm using because I have to press, like, press down so then the pencil will actually show up on the fleece. Like before when you were doing the third, do one and then flip it over and do it again. And then take your scissors, cut around it so then it's a bit easy to actually cut the actual template out cut the piece out so cut a square round the tongue and then just cut it out like you've been doing the rest of the pieces for the tail just this time with scissors pieces cut out then try and figure out which one's going to be the top and which one's going to be the bottom hopefully the one that you do if you're going to do like the f effect then the one that's going to be on the top is bigger so once you've figured that out cut some thread well draw a line on that tongue and then get some thread measure it out just thread it through the needle Tie a knot in the end and then start sewing. So make sure that you keep it folded and sew and make sure that you're sewing in the right place and so it's like actually in the middle. If you are doing the effect you can sew up, up to wherever you want to. I'm going like a couple of inches away from the end of the tongue. At least I think I am. And then when you get to the end, just go backwards and forwards a few times, and then either tie a knot or just loop it round like I am.
get your scissors and cut off the excess and then that's done. Okay, so once you've got the pattern like cut out, then grab your pins and pin it together. You might have to cut off some excess on the one that was bigger, just so then it's a bit easier to actually sew it together. So go all the way around and pin it, but leave the the end like the straight edge end open, so then when you finish sewing it, you can turn it the right way around and stuff it. If you're using fleece it's a bit harder to pin than if you're using fur or felt. Once you've pinned all the way like, round the tongue apart from the actual edge then do exactly what you've been doing for all the other pieces that you've sewn in. Measure the thread and just basically do what you've been doing. You can use a sewing machine, I think, but I more prefer using like your sewing by hand. So just go around and sew it. So you've sewn all the way around but left the open end, then turn it the right way around and make sure that it fits okay inside the mouth. Once you've done that, get the stuffing. You can get stuffing from craft shops and stuff. It's like toy stuffing. You can even open up an old cushion and get the stuffing out of that. But just simply just stuff the tongue. I know it's like off camera at the minute, but just stuff it until you have enough stuffing in it that you want. <laughs> Once you've stuffed the tongue for the tail, then turn the tail the right inside out again and try and place the tongue in the mouth the right way and then you could pin it, I think I did, and then just sew like, around it. You might have to go over it two times if you're sewing it by hand. I think you can do this by like, machine. But I just do it by hand because it gives us something to do and I just find it more comfortable to me and just go all the way around make sure that you're getting all the layers the felt and the fleece or all the felt or all the fleece whatever you're using for the mouth and when you get to the side make sure that you're tucking in all of it so then there's no holes then it's less likely for the tongue to actually come out the tail if you're making a long tail like me because people might accidentally stand on it.